En question. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Court officer, could you invite a civil party TCCP 149 into the courtroom? Good morning, Madame Civil Party. What is your name? Bonjour, Madame la Partie Civile. Comment vous appelez-vous? Civil Party. Réponse. My name is Sopan Sovani. Sopan Sovani. Thank you. Le Président. Madame Sopan Sovani, quel âge avez-vous? Réponse. Answer. I am fifty-seven years old. J'ai cinquante-sept ans. Question. Question. Can you tell the court your place of birth and your current residence? Où êtes-vous né et où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. I was born in quarter one in Phnom Penh. Currently, Je suis né dans le quartier numéro 1 I live de Phnom Penh. in 28-day Crown Village, 28-day Commune, Gondiang District. Province. Le district de Kondieng de la Question, province de Pursat. What is your current occupation? Question. Quel est votre métier actuel? Answer. I am a rice Réponse. farmer. Je cultive du riz. Question. Can you tell the cause the names of your mother Question. and father? Comment s'appellent vos parents? And your husband's name and Ainsi que the number of mari. children you have? Combien d'enfants avez-vous? My father's name is Sopan Sopai. He passed away. And my mother, Lukum Sai, passed away. Ma mère and my husband, Ned Sopan, Ned one dead. Marie and we have three children. Nous avons trois enfants. Thank you. Le président. Litko lawyers, what is Merci. your... Je m'adresse au avocat principal. You made your submission already, but it seems that you decided to change it. Could you please clarify the matter before we proceed with hearing the statement of suffering of this civil party and other civil parties for today's proceeding? La déclaration de cette partie civile et des suivantes concernant les souffrances endurées. Maître Picard, Monsieur le Président, comme annoncé pour cette partie civile-ci, we Request to give the opportunity to the civil party to make her statement. And if needed, then we, the civil party lawyers, will put the question to her. Likewise, for the next TC civil party, we request the same procedure is applied. And for the last civil party for today, that is TCCP 117, the assigned 
L'avocat désigné va d'abord interroger la personne avant que celle-ci ne prenne sa déclaration sur ses souffrances. Le président. Madame Sopan Sovani, Madame Sopan Sovani, in your capacity as a civil party before this chamber, civil, you are given an opportunity to express your statement de of faire suffering une les and harm inflicted upon you psychologically, physically, and materially, and which are the direct result of the crimes that occurred and that led you to become a civil party in this case. The crimes which have been charged against the two accused, namely Nunchi and Kilsen Porn, and which occurred during the democratic Cambodia regime from the 17 April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979. This is your right as a civil party, and this is the opportunity that we give to you. You may proceed. Civil Party. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. La partie civile. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les juges. Good morning, everyone in the courtroom. Bonjour à toutes les personnes ici présentes. On the 17 April 1975, my family and I, ma famille et moi, were living in Vivian, Saint-Ou. Village, dans le village de Sa Toit, dans le part of Phnom Penh, that is, it was near kilometer number six. À proximité du kilomètre six. On that day, I heard the announcement broadcast on a mobile loudspeaker that we all had to leave our house. Entendu un message annoncé selon quoi nous devions tous partir de chez nous. Because it was imminent that the Americans would drop bombs. Upon les Américains that, we allaient did not bientôt nous bombarder. Nous n'y so avons pas cru. We were in, in the, on the side road and we went to the main road and nous we étions heard the same message. Latérale. Nous sommes allés so sur I la route principale et nous avons entendu le même message. Alors je suis rentré chez moi. J'ai dit à mes parents et mes frères et sœurs que nous devions quitter Phnom Penh. Otherwise, Phnom Penh would be bombed by the Americans. And my parents said, no, don't believe that. Now the country enjoyed peace. But immediately, two or three militia came to the front of our house and shouted at us that, what are we waiting for? Why aren't we packing our stuff and leave? Everybody is leaving. Why are you still here? We were scared upon hearing that. We were never shouted at before. Jamais on ne nous avait crié dessus de cette manière, et on nous avait encore moins dit de partir de chez nous. And it is, it was very difficult for us to do anything. Pour nous, c'était très difficile de faire quoi que ce soit. Où pouvions-nous aller? What food would we have when we leave the house? But we had to follow the announcement. We did not even pack our belongings yet, but we heard a few shots fired into the air nearby our house. We became even more scared. So we rushed ourselves to leave the house and reach the main road. As my house was located on the side road, so we had to leave the side road to reach the main road. We had to leave the side road to reach the main road. The situation at the time was shocking and confusing. The road was packed with people, and I did not know where they came from or where they were heading to. 
the road was fully packed with people, il y avait with beaucoup de monde the sick, dans les with, rues, uh, il y avait des malades, certains the, the bicycle, utilisaient vehicles, un moyen de transport, and the rickshaw. People were asking for their relatives pousse, and pousse, family members. vélo, voiture, les gens cherchaient There was les membres one de leur from, the, uh, from another family who pressed their hands to back the Khmer Rouge to return to the back in order to find their family members. But the person was refused by the, the Khmer Rouge soldiers. Famille, le Rouge a the Khmer Rouge soldiers were standing Ces there on the road, forcing us to keep moving. Debout, le long de la route, They had their les weapons. Avancer, ils armés. And There were flies. Flies were everywhere. Il y avait and there were des dead bodies partout. along the road. Il y avait des although I did not know when those people died. Je ne sais pas also, quand ces gens étaient morts. Human excrement Il was y avait everywhere des excréments the humains partout sur la route. From kilometer number six to Prépne, du kilomètre 6 à Prépne, nous avons mis we did not have clean deux water jours, to drink. nous n'avions pas d'eau salubre, water we could, uh, nous buvions get. tout ce que nous pouvions trouver. And upon reaching Prepne, Une we fois arrivés à Prépneu, nous, nous avons voulu Khmer nous préparer à manger. Des soldats Khmer Rouge ont annoncé par haut-parleur no market and money qu'il n'y aurait pas de marché et que l'argent ne pouvait so, être utilisé. We all were shocked to hear Nous étions that. donc choqués d'entendre cela. We could only live uh, by getting food from the market and without having the market how Nous could we obtain food? Pour, uh, Because when we left, marché, we did not bring much belonging Nous as we were told we would chose, only live for three days. Avait dit que nous pour so we jours. could only carry Only small things Nous avons donc could, uh, seulement emporté de petits objets que l'on peut facilement transporter. For a long Nous ne nous étions journey. pas préparés à un long voyage. So by hearing such an announcement, we were shocked and we lost our hope. Message, nous avons été choqués et nous and avons perdu espoir. D'après l'expression, they were desperate. Uh, They throw away their money. Some compris, of them burned it. Désespérés. Certains ont jeté And leur then argent. we continue walking for Ensuite, 15 days after we crossed the Great Dam by ferry to the other side. Traversé la rivière par bac à Prey Kdam. My father wanted to take us further to Mon the border so that we could escape. Jusqu'à la frontière pour It seems that s'échapper. he knew something, but he did not tell us what it was. Choses, he only wanted us to cross and parlé. to reach the border. Que nous à la We almost uh, reached Kampong Thom, but I could not recall the name of that village. We were Je exhausted. Ne pas de ce village. Nous étions épuisés. Then we went to take a rest Ensuite, in a pagoda. There was no one inside. Il n'y avait personne no à l'intérieur, pas de the moines, statute, mais were les statues du Bouddha avaient été détruites, des têtes ou des membres des statues saw. manquaient. And it was Nous l'avons very vu. Quiet. So we rested in one of the Il faisait calme là-bas. Nous nous sommes reposés and dans une des résidences de moines. Le lendemain, dans l'après-midi, quatre ou cinq militias sont venus nous demander My où nous allions. Mon père leur a dit que nous voulions to aller dans la province de Kampong Thom pour retrouver le reste de notre famille. And they said There is no need for us Ils ont to go dit there. que nous n'avions pas besoin d'y aller. Here, you still work for Anka. Even in Kampong Thom, you come right, you still work for Anka. Que vous soyez ici ou à Kampong so, Thom, vous you travaillerez pour Anka. And work dit. with the people in Demain, the village. vous irez travailler They avec les gens du village. Ces gens travaillent dur. Et vous, vous, vous voulez aller ailleurs? My father voilà did not reply to that statement. Mon He père n'a pas répondu. Silent. Il a gardé le silence. And next day, the village le lendemain, chief came to le chef us du village est venu nous trouver. 
family to go and call the Raj siblings. À ma famille, and surely enough, next day at around 4 or 5 a.m., we were asked to go riz. and pull the rice seedlings. Le lendemain, à 5 heures du matin, nous sommes allés My, travailler à la rizière. Allow me to, to tell you that we were of a business, a family. Nous I did une not famille even know what rice stock looked like. Je ne savais même not pas à quoi ressemblait une pousse de riz. But then we were asked to pull the rice seedlings. Mais on nous a demandé de travailler à la rizière. It, Pour ceux qui savent le faire, c'est facile. Mais nous ne savions pas comment le faire. To the bed qui and the mud has devant nous jetaient les pousses de riz vers l'arrière et cela nous éclaboussait. Certains pleuraient. Mon père nous a dit de ne pas pleurer. And he used the muddy water to clean Il our faces. utilisait l'eau buoyeuse pour that nettoyer le visage. Nous avons continué à le faire pendant quelques jours. We, nous avons donc arraché des pousses de riz. Sore, nous avons day, continué malgré my Father decided to speak to the village chief. Le cinquième jour, mon père a décidé de parler au chef du village pour lui demander l'autorisation d'aller à Kompongtom rechercher les autres membres de la famille. Le chef de village a répondu à mon père qu'il ne pouvait pas en décider lui-même, mais qu'il irait trouver quelqu'un d'autre pour demander l'autorisation. Ensuite, quelques miliciens sont venus et ont réprimandé mon père. That we were of the, uh, capitalist Ils ont dit que nous étions des capitalistes et que nous ne voulions pas faire le travail fixé par l'Ankar. Ils nous ont dit de continuer à travailler. And if we good, then Ils they ont would dit que si nous travaillions bien, and, uh, ils demanderaient à nos parents de venir nous rejoindre. Ils ont dit que les parents de mon he père pourraient venir nous rendre visite. Mon père n'a pas répondu, il nous a simplement réconfortés en nous disant de continuer à travailler. Next day, a, le lendemain, a man who was a base person un homme du village, peuple de base de ce village a, pity on our family. a pris pitié de ma famille. And then he told my father secretly that, Il a dit uh, we en cachette à mon père our que nous devions préparer nos affaires et nous enfuir soon. car notre famille and serait bientôt éliminée. Mon père a demandé quelles erreurs nous avions faites et cette personne a dit à mon père que notre famille était considérée comme une famille de capitalistes ne voulant pas travailler and that he would de ses mains. Cette personne a dit qu'elle qu aiderait, qu nous aiderait à nous enfuir pendant so la nuit. C'était un pêcheur qui avait un bateau. Mon père l'a remercié. Cette personne a averti mon père de ne pas ébruiter la chose. PM, Ce soir-là, vers 9 ou 10 heures, cette personne est venue nous to, réveiller. To pour boat. nous emmener vers le bateau. It was dark. Il faisait noir. I did not know where I was. Je so ne savais pas où j'étais. Nous sommes montés à bord du bateau. And we used, uh, three leaves, uh, to nous avons cover utilisé des feuilles d'arbres we pour nous couvrir au moment où nous rampions au milieu And du when bateau. We left the port, we nous avons quitté L'embarcadère, nous a, sommes tombés sur un autre bateau. Uh, Quelqu'un a demandé au propriétaire de notre bateau où il allait et lui a Lop. répondu qu'il we allait à l'aube. Nous étions sous le choc. Si ces gens étaient venus un peu plus près, ils nous auraient vu. Ils nous auraient vus. Nous aurions, vu. nous aurions well. été tués, de même que le propriétaire But de notre bateau. God, Mais Dieu merci. The boat did not approach L'autre bateau n'est pas venu suffisamment près d'une autre. So we were happy when the other boat, uh, gone. Et donc, l'autre bateau 
est parti. So the boat owner and my le propriétaire father de notre bateau et notre frère ont ramé de plus en plus loin. At one point, he à un moment, stopped and then le bateau s'est arrêté. Advised us to just le propriétaire keep going nous a conseillé de marcher into the jungle. et d'avancer dans la forêt. So we kept going into the, the jungle nous avons fait. in the middle of nowhere. Nous étions au milieu de nulle part. And mosquitoes were everywhere. Il y avait des tas de moustiques. In the morning there was le matin dew mixed with all these uh, mosquitoes everywhere. Il y avait de la rosée. And we they are not et beaucoup de uh, moustiques. to squash the mosquitoes so not to make any nous noise. Nous n'osions pas écraser les moustiques de peur de faire du bruit. Next morning we saw a man on matin, a nous avons vu un homme tree, qui était dans un asked him to tell us the direction nous as we told him that we lost our way. Notre chemin en lui disant so that que nous étions perdus. So us the road to homme nous a indiqué a village, la route vers un village. And then we went to the village nous and the village vers chief, ce village and we met the village nous chief but the village chief said that He Mais could not attack us because we were the 17 April people and avril. the people living in that uh, village was the best people. Il a dit que ce village and he told us to go to another village by the name of Rokakao. We thanked him and then we were put in through an ox cart with the hair stacked on top to uh, conceal us. Et nous nous sommes uh, there were six or seven of us. We were hiding under the hay. Cachés sous le foin. When we reached Roka Kaung, nous village, sommes arrivés au village de Roka Kaung. My father asked him là, whether the person knew his nephew who was living in Roka Kaung village, si and the person knew him. Dans ce village, l'autre personne le connaissait. So then we met my father's donc, nephew. Nous avons rencontré le neveu de mon père. And he said that he could not take us in without the approval of the village chief. So we went village. to seek permission from the village chief and the village chief said le chef de we village could stay there and work together with the best people there. Avec le peuple de base. So we stay at the house of Donc the village chief of my father in Rokakaung village. Le neveu de mon père dans le village de Rokakaung. We ate what we had. We had some food and uh, some rice with us. Nous avons so we mangé ce que nous avions, un peu de fruits et du riz. Nous avons pu survivre. But we could only do it for two days and then we were asked to go and cut a Après deux cock. jours, I on never knew what cock was. d'aller couper des coques. Moi, je ne savais pas only ce que c'était. Mais mon père was. savait. But he did not tell us how to Mon cut the, the cock. Ne nous a pas dit because the cock is razor sharp on its blade. Est une And our hands were comme une bleeding. Et du coup, nos mains It was razor sharp. So my younger siblings and I all got our hands uh, et moi bleeding. Avions les mains ensanglantées. They were pretty young, so they, they cried et when jeunes, their hands were bled. Et And donc, my pleuraient. parents uh, were scolded for that. Mon père a été réprimandé we à cause de the ça. Nous days, avons coupé we ce coq pendant 4 ou 5 jours, puis on nous a convoqué à une réunion so that we could, uh, be given the rice and, uh, the salt pour nous donner notre ration de riz et de sel. It would take us 15 days to go and get the salt and rice. Il nous a fallu 15 But jours pour aller chercher no one was strong ce sel et ce and, riz. And up, and only I could, uh, do it. Or, les autres n'étaient pas assez forts pour on my le father, so faire. I to Seul go moi his place. était à même de le faire. J'ai eu pitié de mon père et j'ai décidé d'aller là-bas à sa place. J'ai pris un vélo, je suis arrivé. Field, The riding was rough. It was not a Dans smooth une road. saline, après avoir emprunté une mauvaise route, And I had to complete a return a trip within 15 days. J'ai dû faire And aller retour en 15 jours. Nothing at all about the direction to go to Or, the, the salt field. je ne savais pas du tout comment aller. And upon reaching saline, the salt field, I gave uh, the place, person 
the letter then I was uh, instructed to pick up the salt as quickly as I could que je devais aller and then return aussi vite que possible it uh, on my bicycle. À vélo. I picked up the salt and I glanced around. Pris ce sel, j'ai regardé autour I de moi. Who were in the salt des gens field, qui travaillaient dans les salines. They were by Ces gens étaient surveillés soldiers. par des soldats en Those armes. Soldiers were patrolling while Lesquels the people were working, working in the salt fields. leur patrouille pendant que les gens travaillaient dans ces salines. Then I rushed myself and rode a bicycle. Je me suis dépêché. I, I brought along 50 Je kilograms of salt and of course it was very difficult for me to carry this uh, heavy uh, salt bien lourd à and as uh, you knew my hands uh, bled from cutting the cord Mes mains saignaient. and my glands uh, were swollen because corps. of the long journey and of uh, the Mes riding of the bicycle. En outre à cause de ce long voyage But à... I decided to do this because Mais I was pitiful of my parents. Car pitié de mes parents. And when I arrived home, I quand became je suis arrivé, extremely exhausted. J'étais I could not move. Incapable de bouger. And when I showed them uh, the salt, quand je leur ai montré le sel, They took the salt away from me, pris. and the person who carries the salt uh, stumbled and fell down and was scolded by the Khmer Rouge soldiers et a été par that un he Khmer did Rouge. not uh, work properly because of his uh, capitalist nature, était de and the soldier was uh, whipping the ground with a whip to threaten the person Ce soldat and it was shocked uh, le sol seeing pour that. menacer la personne cela m'a choqué so afraid j'étais terrorisé and in return i was only given a small pack of salt retour, and it was about one kilogram only but in fact de when de i left they said that i would be given half of what i could carry à mon départ and, on m'avait uh, dit que je recevrais la moitié back. de ce que je pourrais transporter et ramener My father said, uh, just keep accepting what Mon père we were given and uh, be patient. Nous et That's faire the virtue of the words of my father. Voilà ce dit He asked Mon us père. to be patient. Il nous a dit and three or four days later, Trois ou jours plus there tard, was an announcement that the new people from Rokakao village would be transferred, transferred to work in the rice field in Posat and Badambong province. De la province. And over de there, Batambang et de it was abandoned with rice as rice uh, was stored était in abondé. Puisqu'il avait été stocké dans des entrepôts, on nous disait que là-bas, nous pourrions manger à notre faim. I myself did not believe that, so did my parents. Je n'ai pas cru. But we had no choice parents, because that was the direction by Anka that we had to go. Que nous so all the new people had to go. Donc, tous les They registered de our de names and then we bought it a motorboat. We left uh, Rokakaung to the east side of Prairomer. We stopped uh, somewhere there. Prairomer. Nous, nous, nous y sommes and arrêtés. while we were on the boat, Et alors que nous we were guarded by Khmer Rouge soldiers. Les Khmer Rouge nous Some young children on the boat cried as they were Certains hungry, so did my younger siblings. And they shouted at us to look after the, the younger siblings, siblings otherwise we would be thrown uh, aboard. Et les Khmer Rouge ont dit qu'il fallait s'assurer qu'ils se taisent, sinon ils allaient les jeter. What kind of words? That was very rude and cruel. Qui peut dire une chose pareille? C'était très cruel. I could not imagine such words were used in that Je ne pouvais pas croire que des gens sous ce régime puissent dire une chose pareille. Nous étions très choqués par ces propos. So the mother of those children fed some water from the, donc, the river and gave the water to the children. De, de, de de du fleuve et afraid that on a donné the aux children enfants. will be killed car elle avait peur que les enfants soient tués. 
left the boat and we were put into Puis the GMC tracks. There were three or four tracks le, waiting for us. And when bateau, it was full, then they travel to the railway station. Nous sommes montés à bord, puis nous sommes allés jusqu'à la gare de the, Lorsque nous sommes arrivés, the train, the à la gare, les trains qui nous attendaient avaient des wagons qui n'étaient pas petrol, prévus pour des gens, c'était des wagons pour du bétail ou des véhicules. So we into the, the wagon when it was full, bord, they closed the door, même, comme même le wagon était plein, with a piece of wood. And we were not allowed to relieve ourselves, and the train departed uh, that night. Les wagons étaient bondés, nous n'avions pas le droit de... They told the men uh, to uh, stay there, and uh, the women were asked uh, to come down, and they pointed a gun at us, and they actually uh, wanted us, uh, they allow us to actually advocate, but... Um, we could not even relieve ourselves because we were uh, very frightened at the gun point. So at that time, uh, we were in constant fear. And when we got to the railway station uh, at Bosat, uh, they asked us to get off the train and got on the track. I did not know. Uh, I did not actually have the sense of uh, time of the day. We did not have any voyage. We did not have any food to eat, and we went without water. Uh, when we reached a place where there was water, whether or not it was contaminated, Nous we drank uh, the water. Um, non, and when we got to Polsat, uh, it was uh, Sat, early in the morning. And then Sat, uh, we got on the truck, we went to a cooperative in Kandiang district. When we reached there, uh, it was uh, Popi Cooperative. It was nothing but forest. It was a uh, bush. Mais it uh, contained of uh, bushes, uh, but uh, there was n it was not the um, the <coughs> farmland. So we had to uh, clear the bushes in order to uh, do the farming, and we had to build our hut uh, to uh, take shelter. Uh, they actually did not build it for us. We had to do it all by ourselves. Uh, so my family and I uh, had to do it by ourselves. Uh, at that time, they uh, gave us uh, four, five cans of rice per person. So we have eight members in our family, so we receive um, that uh, many cans of uh, rice. And we did not have any vegetable or anything that could uh, be cooked with because it was only bushes uh, over there. So my uh, father was tasked uh, to clear the uh, bushes to make way for farming, and uh, my mother was asked uh, to do other job in other places. And as for my uh, younger brothers and uh, or older brothers and sisters were uh, in the mobile unit. Uh, my sister was lucky to be uh, in the uh, mobile unit of the village, but I was attached to the mobile unit. Uh, uh, in the district. So I was, uh, uh, this, this, we had to separate from one another in the family, and this separation was suffering. Um, we did not have any uh, food to eat, and we uh, had to uh, leave and uh, stay away from our parents and our beloved brothers and sisters. This was the tragedy in our life. It was, I could not think of anything, but I almost wanted to commit uh, suicide. Je, uh, Whenever I had to leave my parents for the day, rien, je, uh, I could not even say parents, goodbye to them. So I could only stare into their face with a very faire, sad uh, impression, and then uh, we knocked our head and left. There was nothing we could do at that time rather than Donc, just staring into tout each other's eye and uh, as we uh, said goodbye. So I stayed there for approximately four or five months. I actually never returned home when I went to join the mobile unit of the district. I had to stay over there for months. 
and I had to go from one work site to another. And then I got to know uh, one man who uh, whispered to me that uh, my father was being sick and he was being treated at Kandiang uh, District Hospital, and he asked me whether or not I could uh, go and visit him for the last time. I was very terrified at that time. I was I was very sad, and I could not say anything. I decided to go to my unit chief, backing him for his uh, mercy. I asked him for a leave uh, to go to visit my sick uh, parents. The president, Madame Sobani, uh, please uh, hold on. Your counsel is on your feet. Uh, you may proceed, counsel. Counsel. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to uh, seek uh, your leave uh, so that I can uh, ask a question and talk uh, to my uh, client because due to uh, the time limitation, I need to uh, make sure that my uh, client is uh, actually uh, be brief. The president, yes, uh, you are right. Uh, we are running out of time, so uh, you may go ahead. Uh, Council. Ms. Uh, Savani, could you please uh, be uh, brief because we only have uh, 10 minutes left. Uh, you may resume your statement, however, please uh, be rather brief. Yes, I will be brief. At the time, I asked for leave from the unit chief, but I was not granted uh, leave, so at night I decided uh, to escape. I, I had to risk my life uh, to escape in order to visit uh, my father, my sick father. So I had to cross the stream. Uh, uh, the stream was rather shallow. It was not uh, deep anyway, but I could uh, successfully um, cross the uh, stream, and then when I got to Kandiang Hospital, um, I saw no one on the bed where uh, my father was supposed to be there, and then I was looking for him. I actually asked uh, people over there. They told me that my father was already dead, and then I was asking them. I was crying uh, very loudly and then uh, I asked other people uh, around for my mother and then uh, they uh, told me that I was not a doctor myself so I was not uh, in the position to be worried about the health condition of uh, my mother. So I was crying. I could not do anything so I, uh, I could do nothing but uh, return. And a few weeks after that, I learned uh, the news that my sister was also dead because of diseases. And later on, I learned the sad news again that my two younger sisters were dead uh, for uh, diseases again. And they actually they later changed uh, my. Uh, position, uh, my location. I went to look for travail. my uh, younger uh, brother. He was being sick. He could not do anything. Well, upon seeing me, faire. he was very desperate. Vu, he came uh, to désespéré. talk to me in a very il soft voice that uh, whether or not I have brought any rice for him to eat. He was begging me for a rice, il just for a bite of rice, uh, it would be enough for him. And I was suffisant, une simple very depressed. Et I could not have him and could not have him whatsoever. I did not have Donc, anything with myself. How could I have him at that Comment time? Comment aurais-je pu l'aider? Then my younger brother died of starvation and disease. Frère est mort, donc, de maladie. And then Il they transferred me uh, to Dick Canal and died in Kilo. When I dédié. got there, uh, they gave us the quota of arrivé, on nous a dit the areas of um, the areas I had to accomplish, uh, for example, if they limited me uh, to 
uh, complete uh, 10 square meter, I had to uh, complete it by the deadline. And they also wanted us uh, to share our view, our live view, and they took the uh, card in order to uh, take us uh, to share our live view in a group. And then I decided that I would not go. Even if uh, they killed me now, I would not go. So I begged uh, the uh, man who was riding the car uh, that I did not want to go. And then the man said he could not be of any help because he could not even help himself. Uh, so whatever I could do, uh, I, I should choose to do it by myself. So I, at that time, wandered around, and I had to leave uh, the village. I went into the forest. I did not know I, where I was heading uh, to, but I just went on walking and walking until I reached uh, the Natchez Krom uh, along the uh, Cardamom Mountain. I asked people over there uh, where it was, and they said that it was the Natchez Krom. Uh, and I met the cooperative, and I told the cooperative chief uh, that I was uh, asked uh, to um, to cut wood in the forest, uh, but then I lost my way I, and I ended up here. And then uh, the uh, cooperative allowed me to join the cooperative, and I was assigned to dig the canal in that cooperative in the natural ground. But Again, over there, the work condition was Mais harsh. Uh, the uh, ground over there was uh, full of La rock, and we had to cailloux. break rock in order to make a uh, canal. And the work was very hard. We had to carry water from the streams in order to uh, break uh, the rock uh, from the canal in order to make way for the uh, canal. And we use uh, iron rod. It was very heavy. Uh, when we hold it and push it to the ground, uh, our hands were uh, bleeding and swollen. I look at my hands, they were swollen, and it bled. I could not cry. I could not complain. I could not protest. I had no choice, but I had to accomplish my job before uh, my father passed away, he once told me that I had to struggle, I had to, I had to uh, live on in my life, so I had to uh, continue uh, to live. I continue to uh, dig the canals, I carry earth. I carried stones and all kinds of hard labor I had to endure. Dû faire ce dur In that work site, I witnessed a few ah, events which terrified me for the rest of my life, and I will never, never ever forget it uh, for the rest of my life of this event. There was a young woman who was in my um, cooperative. She was hiding a jewelry, a necklace uh, in her pocket somewhere. And then one day when she was digging the, uh, the earth, uh, she dropped it. And then the, uh, the uh, chief of cooperative noticed it, but he said nothing. And then uh, a few, uh, the next morning, uh, three militia Militiamen uh, came and uh, they took her to the forest. And from that time onward, we never saw again. And actually, we uh, found out that she was killed, she was executed, and she was buried, but her body, her dead body, was not fully buried. We could see uh, her leg uh, coming out. And they told us uh, that. Uh, they warned us uh, not, not to be reactionary. Uh, we had to get rid of any reactionary behavior because uh, we should have learned our lesson from the lady uh, who was just executed. There was another event in uh, that work site, too. There was um, 
a lady who was in my uh, cooperative. Uh, she got uh, one piece of potato. She Ella. burnt, she uh, backed the potato, Ella. but she just got only one or two bites of the uh, back potato, and then uh, the militiaman asked her where she got this potato, and then uh, she could not really answer the question, and then she just um, frog marched her out, and then uh, they blindfolded her, and then they just knocked her uh, uh, she, uh, to the earth, and then she actually bit terre. her until she was motionless. She, and then they unfolded that. And then when they opened, uh, they, they actually uh, untied the um, blindfold as well as the uh, plastic that she was covered which we saw the blood uh, everywhere, and she was taken away. She was dragged away like an animal, like that animal anywhere. An animal. So this image was uh, very sorrowful for me, and I can never forget it. And then they once jamais. again take this as an example for all of us. They warn us that if we committed any wrongdoing as the lady was si doing, then uh, we would fait. end up in the same Nous fate. There was another uh, lady who uh, committed uh, sexual wrongdoing. She got pregnant for seven months. I did not know what had happened to her. And then she uh, told me that uh, she had to return to the cooperative. And then I did not know uh, what uh, she actually had done. Uh, she did not go to the cooperative. The next morning, three militiamen uh, carried uh, with the uh, hole and a knife. Uh, they frog marched her to the uh, forest. I decided to uh, follow to observe uh, what would happen to her. And I saw that uh, they dig the ground, and then they unclosed her, and they just uh, beat her with a hole, and she uh, was bitten and to death. And then when she actually fell down on the ground, uh, the, the infectors in her abdomen uh, was probably reacting, and then uh, the soldier used a knife in order to cut open uh, the woman's abdomen. So this was an appalling scene that I could not really, really get rid of my uh, memory. When I got back to my work site, there was another event. He was a unit, she was a unit uh, chief. She was given a quota of work. Uh, she had to complete uh, the task uh, for the day, otherwise she would be killed. And she could not... Uh, uh, accomplish uh, the quota, Et the work quota for her, because she uh, sprained her angle, and she uh, could not handle uh, the job. Et ne donc pas le quota lui avait and then donné. in the evening, uh, we heard a gun shot. Uh, venu, she was killed uh, instantly in the evening. Uh, and she was actually buried in the pit that she actually dug up by herself during the daytime that she could not uh, accomplish the work quota imposed by them. I am almost done uh, with this. I saw two trucks carrying people. Uh, they took these two, these, uh, these people on trucks upwards. I asked them where they 
took these uh, people to. They told me that uh, they would take these people to work somewhere else. But then these people never returned. But the next morning, to my surprise, uh, they returned uh, clothes and and uh, sandals uh, back uh, to the uh, work site where we worked. And I then realized that these people must have all been killed. What I would like to inform the court is that my life has been miserable and unfortunate. I have lost my parents. I have lost my uh, father. From time to time, I uh, had to escape from one place uh, to another, uh, particularly to uh, visit my parents, and I heard uh, that uh, they were being sick, so I risked my life uh, to flee in order to uh, visit them, but unfortunately, uh, they were all dead. My mother, uh, at a wild morning glory known as uh, Trokun and she got diarrhea after eating it, and the situation, her condition got worse until she was dead because of this disease. I have lost all my relatives, my siblings, and my parents. I have nothing more left. I have endured all the miserable things in my life. My difficulty, my misery cannot be put in words. It is indescribable. The President. Thank you, Madam Sovani. Now I hand over the floor to Merci, the prosecutor Madame to put the question to Madam so Sovani. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good morning, Madam Civil Party. My name is Dale Lysak. I am from the uh, co-prosecutor's office. I have just just uh, a couple of questions for you uh, this morning. Your first, your civil party application indicates that when you were in Kandine district in Persat, that you were located in a commune called Srey Sadok commune. My first question to you is, did you know of a place called Toul Potre uh, that was in the area of that commune. Uh, and if you know of that place, what can you tell us about Toul Potre? I stay in Popi, Kandiang District. Tool Pochray was far from my village. But I know that Tool Pochray was a place where soldiers were taken to be executed over there. But I did not know much about this place. As you may be well aware that at that time, we were not allowed to know anything. We were supposed to know our job. We were supposed to do the job we uh, were required to do. We had to comply with the order uh, that Anka uh, handed down uh, to us. So I only learned about Tool Po Chai, uh, particularly its existence, only after 1979. Uh, <coughs> thank you for that response. My second Question. and the last uh, area I want to ask you about, um, the accused in this case claim that one of the reasons they had to move all the people 
out of Phnom Penh was so they would have enough food to eat. Did you and your family have sufficient food to eat in any of the locations to which you were evacuated? Mm -hmm. If we had had enough food uh, to eat, my parents, my relatives, my siblings would not have died. We did not have anything. We did not have food. We did not have access to medicines. We did not have access to many things in life. I thank you very much for coming here today. I know it's Merci been very difficult. Uh, that's all the questions that we have, and we very much appreciate the time. Merci. Thank you. 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 Now I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen to put the question to the uh, civil party. You may proceed. Merci. Je laisse présent la parole à la défense. Mr. President, we don't have any questions. Maître Coppel, nous n'avons pas de questions. Merci. The President, thank you. Merci. Next, I hand over the floor to the defense team for Mr. Kyu Sampon. Council Kung Simon. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, On behalf of Mr. Kyu Sampon, I do not have any question to put to this civil party. Thank you. The President, thank you, Council. Thank you, Madam. Sauvani. Madame Sauvani. The your testimony voilà and the statement of your suffering have come to an end. You are now released. Uh, we have recorded your uh, statement votre concerning votre your uh, suffering. And your souffrance. testimony will contribute. Uh, to ascertaining the truth. I wish you good health and the best uh, of luck. And you may now return back home. Court officer is now instructed to coordinate with the vessel unit uh, to assist her in her return uh, to her home or to any direction she wishes to go. And the chamber wishes to advise the uh, members of the public and parties that the chamber this afternoon will resume hearing the testimony and statement of suffering of the uh, two of two more civil parties, TCCP 170 and TCCP 117. The time is now appropriate for lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now and resume at 1:20. At Security guards are now instructed to bring Mr. Kyu Sampon to the holding cell downstairs and have him return to this courtroom this afternoon before 1.20. The court is now adjourned.